Hi, my name is Martin King. I'm with Legacy Chiller Systems. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to be covering our Chiller Energy Audit tool. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. We're going to click on the Input Site Information tab first. This is the tab where we're going to input all the basic data to get started. But before we do, I want to point out a couple of things. On the pages uh, that we'll be um, following, you're going to see a lot of these light shaded areas. And uh, these light shaded areas will contain uh, what we call hint information. So if you're not sure how to uh, fill out particular data, uh, make sure you read the hint boxes and it will give you some really good idea. Also too, you'll notice throughout the system here, we're going to have boxes uh, that are white. So any boxes that are white uh, will be boxes that we uh, will want you to input data into. All right, just a good general uh, piece of information there. All right, so we're going to start by filling out our contact information our project information and if you have any comments you can put it in the comment box here and that's pretty much it on this page this one's pretty easy the next page is our weather data page and this collects all the basic information that we need to computate your energy usage it's uh, divided into five, uh, excuse me four different steps and the first step is going to be your kwh rate that's kilowatts per hour and uh, this data is available uh, through either your utilities website or you can also get your information off of your uh, your bill that you get each month so we're going to left click the white area here and you'll see a subtle little down arrow that will post here we're going to left click on that and you're just going to select uh, what your KWH rate is uh, off the list here and then uh, step number two is your energy source this information should also be available on your utility providers uh, website this is what um, your utility uses to produce electricity so we put all the common ones down here and you just want to make sure at the very end you're obviously equal to 100 percent step number three we have the US divided into seven climate regions and uh, what you're going to do is you're going to find out which area you're in and you're going to left click on the box up here and you're going to um, uh, select uh, which particular climate region that you're in. All right, so we're just going to collect number four for fun. Step number four is uh, really easy. You're going to put in your target zip code in the box here, and you're going to click this link. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring you into a web page that looks like this. And the only two pieces of information that we need is going to be the um, your average highs and your average lows for your particular climate region and what you're going to do is you're going to input that data uh, right in these particular cells here All right. now before I move on here you got to keep in mind that if you if you don't travel very much the only things you're really going to have to change uh, on each visit or each each survey that you do is the KWH rate your uh, most utilities uh, will obviously use the same energy source uh, for the particular area obviously your climate region is going to be the same and if you stay fairly close to the same zip code your uh, your average highs and lows are going to be pretty much the same so we're going to move on to the equipment tab now on this tab here you're going to be inputting your uh, equipment you can put up to 10 systems in here and you're going to put in your make model serial number your tonnage of your machines uh, your voltage your first stage compressor amps second stage compressor amps, how many days during the week you're running the machine, uh, the startup time which is usually the time of the day the chiller gets put online, the time you shut it off, uh, your uh, loading percentage, your set point for the chiller, and your uh, average uh, or your, your approximate age of the machine. Now uh, a few of these boxes here are a little more complicated. We, we have some specifics that we want you to give us um, uh, here so we put these hint boxes up here so you can get an idea on uh, what we're looking for alright so that's pretty simple input now we're going to move on to our savings summary and this is when it gets kind of fun um, on the uh, left hand side upper quadrant here we have just a summary of uh, what you've input and then uh, right here on the bottom left quadrant we're looking at what your current annual operating cost is to run uh, the machines that you've input. So in this case, we're looking at about 405,000 kWh or kilowatt hours at about $68,000 a year. And um, if the customer chooses to invest in Legacy's economizer technology, whether it be retrofit or integrated, we're also giving some projections here 
on uh, what the reductions will be, both from a carbon standpoint and also from a savings standpoint. So this is pretty significant savings here. It's something to take a look at. All right, the last tab is going to be our savings details. And it's going to pull the information on your equipment in. Um, this page is used for those of you who are interested in economizer technology. And what you're basically going to do here is you're going to put in uh, the cost to uh, retrofit the machine or uh, replace the machine with economizer technology. And then what we're doing here is we're giving you a breakdown per machine on uh, which one uh, or which which machines would be the best candidate uh, based on return on investment, uh, both in years and a percentage. So uh, what we have we have a lot of our customers use this to um, analyze a particular uh, complex, a facility, and if the budget does not allow doing everything, um, you can use this tool to figure out which ones would be the best candidate for retrofits. All right, and uh, just to let you know, if you haven't sat in on our webinar, uh, new opportunities in a changing world, we have a lot of coverage uh, about. Uh, how you can uh, use the stimulus package uh, to generate some uh, significant tax savings. So if you get a chance, go to our website at LegacyChillers.com and register for that webinar, and uh, you can get some really good information, uh, and that is uh, no cost. So um, wrapping things up, we're going to go back to our home page here. Uh, a few things to take a look at here. We have information on the left-hand side here for our, our economizer retrofit panels and integrated technology. On the right-hand side, we have um, information or a link to our site that talks about our uh, free engineering, chiller engineering uh, consulting services. And then on the bottom right-hand side, we have uh, information on our buyer uh, resource uh, section of our website. It's within our knowledge base. We have a lot of non-brand specific data in there that I would encourage you to stop in on and, uh, and take a look. Well, anyway, thank you very much for stopping in. Uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call at 877-988-5464, or you can send us an email at support at LegacyChillers.com. Have a great day.